everybody and thank you for checking me out. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real, Marketplace, TradeZ, all kinds of places. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, player, and I love Disney. So let me get this adjusted a little bit because I was having issues this morning with my SD card. It said it was full when I was trying to record this video, but it, um, then I plugged it into my computer and nothing was on there. So luckily I found a YouTube video that helped me figure out how to erase whatever was in there. So that's good. Um, I do these what sold videos every Friday and then I typically put in haul videos and thread up mystery unboxings on Sunday. So if you like that kind of content, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below with the bell next to it. That way you get notifications every time I put out a new video, give this video a thumbs up. And let's just get right into it. So I'm going to tell you guys first about a few of the sales that I had off platforms. This was either stuff people saw in my YouTube videos or my Instagram hauls. Sometimes I will put stuff up on Instagram that I'm currently listing. Or while I'm in the thrift store, I will put up pictures of what I am finding and getting your guys' opinion about if you would buy it or not. So that's what these sales came for. First was Julie. She watches my channel and follows me on Instagram, I believe. And she purchased that coach wristlet from that thread up coach unboxing. I will put that video up here and you can watch that if you want to. I got some really good purses in that box. And I think we did $24 shipped on that little wristlet. So that was a nice quick sale. Also Rhonda, she also watches my videos and follows me. And she got that coach patchwork purse, which was super cute. I really like the style of that. And we did $45 shipped on that purse. So Rhonda, thank you. She has bought from me before. So I really appreciate your business. Um, next was Susie. She got a pair of soft surroundings pants from me. These she saw on my Instagram that I was listing. They were super cute, like looked really summery, beach. And we did $25 shipped on those. Lynn bought this Sundance top that I actually found yesterday in a thrift store. Um... It was super cute. I thought I maybe had it up here, but I haven't. I'm just getting ready to go ship it now. Um, just very boho, lightweight, classic Sundance style. We did $30 shipped for that Sundance top. And then Bonnie bought another soft surroundings top for me. I actually think she got one earlier in the week as well. So Bonnie, thank you so much for your purchases. Um, this one was in a size extra large, just very pretty um, embroidered floral, I think, top. So that's my sales off platform, which is great. If I can do it that way, I'd like to because then I don't have to deal with as many fees. Although PayPal takes out a really small fee, but it's not really like the 20% off that Poshmark takes. So. Okay, so I will start with eBay. The first thing I sold on eBay was this Torrid Multi Brush Strokes Chalice Zip Front Drawstring Shirt Dress in a size 1X. This sold for $24. Next was a pair of Eloquii jeans. These um, I got at a thrift store when I found a huge plus size section. They were in a size 26 and they sold for $30.88. That was my full asking price. These also sold through the International Global Shipping Program. So definitely turn that on if you sell on eBay. It just opens it up to more buyers. Next was a new J. Crew Blue Ruffle Neck Crepe Long Sleeve Top. This was in a size 2X and it sold very quickly for $30. I sold these coconuts by Matisse Brown Leather Boots, these were pretty cute, nothing special, but they did sell for 23 within a couple of weeks. Next was an Eddie Bauer black quilted goose down puffer coat. This I had for probably a couple of months and it sold for $45. I sold this Anthropology Maeve Layla ruffled plaid blouse for 15. I'm being really, really selective lately with my Anthropology just because I feel like it's just extremely oversaturated. That one still didn't sell for that much. I had it listed, I think, for 25 but I was having a slow sales day, so I just accepted a lower offer. Next, I sold this Henry Bendel Women's Black Golded Jeweled Cuff Bracelet. This came to me in a Thread Up Fun Box, and that sold for $38. I sold this Catherine's Purple Top in a size 2X. This sold for $25.88, which was my full asking price. Next was a Michael Kors Ivory Leather Handbag. This came to me in a Thread Up name brand handbag box, but it was pretty flawed, I think with scuffs, marks, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, it sold for 26. Sorry, I'll turn off my sound on my phone. <laughs> I was having a conversation with my sister. Okay, and then I sold this pink Victoria's Secret black hoodie buffalo plaid check sweatshirt. This sold for $24. Next was a couple pair of jeans, but actually the buyer wanted to return one pair that didn't fit her right. It was a Lane Bryant Girlfriend straight high-rise jeans and a loft slim pocket skinny jeans. 
Um, she got both of them for $71.76, but she is returning one pair. So I guess on eBay, they don't really have bundles like Poshmark does, but they are allowing her to return that one pair. So I am starting to take returns on eBay just because I want to try it and see if it helps me to get more sales. Um, so I guess we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that was it for eBay. eBay wasn't the best for me this week, but weirdly, Mercari was good again. So let's go through my Mercari sales. First, we had this Ariat Tech Cold Series quarter zip um, top jacket, maybe. It sold for $23, super quick. I had another Ariat piece that was like a hooded top, like out of a sporty dry fit material, and it sold super quick too. So I guess they do good just like the boots. Um, next was an American Eagle oversized flannel top. This came to me in a thread up box. It was the 25 pound like women's clothing box, which actually wasn't that great. This was one of the only items that I kept to resell. I'll link that up here. Um, and it did sell for $24. So that was good. Next was an athletic striped ribbon wrap midi skirt. This sold for 17. I sold a bundle of three Nerf items. My son decided he was going to be done with his Nerf gun. So I'm not really going to go through the names of those because you probably don't care. But anyway, they all sold together for $60. I sold another one of his Nerf guns, an Ultra 3 Blaster. This sold for $18. Next was a pair of Merrill brown leather boots. I just picked these up last week. It was in kind of the challenge I did for myself to pick up things that will only sell for $40 or more. These sold super quick for $53. Next was a pair of Steve Madden boots, Bandit Buckle. They... Actually, I don't know the size. I couldn't find it anywhere, so I had to do some measurements and approximately guess. So I'm really hoping when the buyer gets these, they fit. Um, and they sold for 30. I sold these new men's Tom's Black Venice casual shoes for $35. I sold these Fabletics Pink Floral Mid Rise Capris for $20. And then I sold these new in box Vans Pastel Cloud Classic Shoes for 50. Those I got in a Nordstrom Rack clearance. I'm kind of slowly starting to try to find good places to online source certain things, but it's really hard. So anyway, that was still a pretty decent profit. I think $25 or so, double my money, which for me, retail arbitrage, that's good. Let me tell you about the couple sales I had on Tradesy. I did have a couple of more, so I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I'm just trying it out. So I did sell another one of those cupcakes and cashmere sweater this was one that was from TJ Maxx Yellow Tag Clearance. And I think I sold that for $40. I paid eight. I sold this Cabbie Port fringe sweater and this sold for $37.80. So that was good too. If you sell in Tradesy, let me know if you have any like tips, tricks. I don't know. At first I started cross posting everything. Then I started only cross posting things that I was listing for $50 or higher. So I don't really know. I'm just basically trying it out. <laughs> let me tell you my thread up sales. I had some kind of crappy ones, but I also had some good ones. So the first thing was this We The Free three-quarter sleeve top. It sold for $28.99, giving me a pair of $5.66. Not the best. Um, next was a Land's End casual dress. This sold for $50.99, giving me a pair of $9.99. I sold this Talbot's long sleeve silk top. This sold for $50.99, giving me a pair of $15.61. By the way, if you remember my other video when I sold that Talbot's cardigan for $90, it got returned. So that's sad. So we'll see what it sells for the second time around. Next was a Free People Casual Dress. This was one of my best sales on ThreadUp this week, and it sold for $85.99, giving me a payout of $44.38. Next was some Lane Bryant jeans. These sold for $55.99, giving me a payout of $18.82. I sold this Pure Jill Pullover Hoodie, sold for $35.99, giving me a payout of $8.28. Next was a Bill Lovecoff Dress. This sold for $45.99, giving me a payout of $10.31. I sold this Ann Taylor jacket, another one of my really good sales, sold for $110.99, giving me a pair of $67.66, so that was amazing. These Evolution and Creation Active Pants was my worst sale at $10.99, giving me a pair of $0.73, cents. so those were ones I had for like literally maybe two years that I couldn't sell, so who cares. Next is a brand Pesarico, Pesarico? I don't know if that's how you say it. Anyway, they sold they were a pair of shorts and they sold for $34.99. Give me a pair of $7.56. I think that's it for thread up. So now we will go on to marketplace. <laughs> marketplace, I feel like I'm at a risk to get suspended from shipping again because someone bought something that was like from a really long time ago that I didn't remember I had on there. And I forgot to delete it, and so I had to cancel it, and they're like, you're at risk. 
to lose your shipping privileges. I'm like, oh my gosh, Ugh. it sucks. Okay, first thing on Facebook Marketplace is a pair of Miss Me jeans. They were easy boot cut mid-rise bling pocket jeans. They were in a size 33 and they sold for $35. I seem to sell Miss Me well on Marketplace if I remember from the past. Next was a Columbia purple puffer coat. This um, was in a size 1X and it sold super quick for $25. And the last ones were a pair of Born Louisa boots. These also were, I think, possibly in that challenge for $40 or more. And they did sell for $40. So nice few little sales there from Marketplace. Now we will go on to Poshmark, which, of course, as always, is my main platform. Let me see what I sold here. Okay, the first thing I sold on Poshmark was this pair of Sorel Red Slim Western boots in a size 10. These sold for $85. I picked these up at a consignment store for $25, so that was a really good sale. Okay, next on Poshmark was a pair of Mother Jeans. These were white looker crop mirror mirror jeans. They sold for $51. I sold this Torrid Navy and Fruit Sleeveless Plus Size Midi Dress. This was in a size 2X, and it sold for $20. Next was a Kate Spade Gray Leather Purse. I really went back and forth with this buyer for a few days. She started at, I think, $25, um, and I got her to get up to $55. So I guess I wasn't feeling too stressed that day because sometimes I just completely decline. Actually, I think I was declining sometimes, and she just kept coming back a little bit higher. So $55 for that. That came to me in a thread-up name brand handbag box. Next was a new Adidas gray pink three-stripe drawstring bag, and that sold for $13. I sold these new Mother Superior patch pocket jeans. These I got at TJ Maxx clearance. They were actually red tag clearance, not yellow tag. And they sold for $80. I think I paid $22 for those. I sold these Lululemon gray train time leggings for $49. Next was a pair of Valentino Gladiator clear pink leather bow dolly sandals. These came to me in a thread up designer box. I got two thread up designer boxes this week, so super excited about that. Be on the lookout for those videos. These sold for $80. Next was a bundle of two items. One was a Karen Millen pink fluid midi dress and a pair of Lululemon burgundy train time crops. These sold together for $65. I sold these American Eagle camo high rise jeggings for $18. Next was a pair of Brooks GTS 15 adrenaline running shoes. These sold for $32. I sold this new Aaron Crafts merino wool poncho. This was one of the items when I was cleaning out and going through my bins, which I still haven't finished, but it was an item that was not listed anywhere. So listed it and it sold super quick for $51. I sold this Eileen Fisher blue silk high rise pants and these sold for $34. Next was a pair of Coach Olive Signature leather slip on shoes in a size nine and a half and those sold for $30. I sold these Hudson Gia women's mid rise dark wash skinny jeans and they sold for $25. This next sale was a pair of flying monkey jeans. They were mid-rise light wash ankle jeans. If they actually had a spot in the back that I couldn't get off, I just listed them cheap for $13 and they still sold for $13. So I still made like seven, $8 on them. So don't be afraid to list your flawed items instead of just redonating them because you might still be able to make a few bucks. Next was a Torrid Swim Black Skull Rose Rash Guard. This sold within a few hours for 19 I sold these Can Can Dark Wash Boot Cut High Rise Jeans in a size 30. Those sold within a couple of days for $21. Next was a Torrid Ivory Textured Sheared Hem Sleeveless Dress. It was one of the smaller sizes, I think, which translated to a size large. So it did sit for a little while, but it sold for 20. Next was a pair of Sunita Clogs. These are similar to Dansko's. They were patent leather. For some reason, I had these ones for a really long time. So I took an offer of $20. Next was a pair of Vans Black Casual Slip-On Shoes. These were in a size 9.5. They sold super quick for $21. I sold these Fabletics Green Pink Mid-Rise Yoga Running Leggings in a size extra large, and these sold for $18. Next was a pair of New With Tags Loft Jeans. These were the High Waist Boyfriend Dark Wash in a size 20. They sold for $29. I sold this New With Tags Catherine's Purple Black Open Jacket. I got this at a Style Encore clearance sale. And that sold for $34. It was in a size 5X. I sold these Outdoor Voices Off-White Rec Trek pants. These I got at a consignment store for, I think, $19. And they sold for $45. Next was a pair of vintage Levi's 501 button fly jeans. This was the other item that I decided to keep from that thread up 25 pound box. And they sold super quick for $38. So pretty sure I already made my money back on just the two items that I did decide to keep. So a lot of the other stuff I'm just sending to thread up. 
I think there's a couple other things actually I did keep because I didn't have sizes, but yeah, anything else would be profit. So I guess it was, oh, okay. <laughs> Next was a pair of vintage Doc Martens blue crocodile lace-up shoes. These I got at a Play-Doh's closet and I think I paid 20 or 25 for them and they sold for 80. I sold this Marc Jacobs black lambskin leather crossbody. This came to me in a thread up name brand handbag box a while back and it sold for $75. I sold these Sorel Trivoli High to Curry Waterproof Boots. These sold super quick for $51, and I just picked them up. I think I paid $10 for them. Next is a pair of Ariat jeans. These also came from that $40 challenge. They were the mid-rise whip stitch jeans, and they did sell for $40. I sold this bundle of items for $80. It was a Free People Gray Laguna V-neck top, Free People Purple Christina Drippy Thermal, Free People Green Southside V-neck Thermal and Fabletics Black Floral High Rise Leggings. So $80 for all those. That was a great bundle sale. And then the last sale I had on Poshmark this morning was this Nike Gray Club Fleece Pullover Logo Athletic Sweatshirt. It was a men's, bought by a women's. Who knows? It could be unisex. That sold for $25. So that's my sales, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what your best sale this was. Let me know what your best sale was this week. Um, I don't know what mine was. I had a few high price sales. I would have to go back and look, but pretty good week. I am really liking Posher VA. My free trial is going to end in a couple of days, but I definitely think I am going to be continuing on with it. Um, what's really nice is like when I'm not home or when I'm thrifting, I don't have to like feel like I have to keep checking my phone all the time to send out offers to likers or to share my closet while I'm out and drain my battery. So it's been great. Let me know if you guys use anything like that and what you think, but I'm definitely keeping it. My son's using it as well, even though he only has around 200 listings, but he's already been like, yes, <laughs> I love it. So you're definitely going to keep using Posher VA. So. so that's it, guys. I hope you guys have a good weekend, a great weekend of sales, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.